Assalamu alaikum YouTube was cracking. It's your angry biracial back with another video. <laughs> Y'all know how I do. I gotta keep my foot on the necks of these kings 24-7. Yo, it's like bright and early in the morning. Just put my kids on the bus. The rest of my family's asleep. I figure I'll come down here and talk to y'all about something. I've watched about half of this video and I reacted to like a small two minute portion of this video before. This video is a lot longer and I want to react to a longer version. But these Kangs, the mindset of these Kangs has not evolved since the 60s. And it's really sad and disgusting that they're still thinking the same way. From generation to generation, they're passing on this ignorant mindset and nothing has changed. The Kangs just get worse. The, uh, the the black family just gets more, you know, non-existent, gets destroyed more. And and we're and this is like the foundation, part of the foundation of why we are at where we're at. Let's go ahead and uh dive into it though, real quick. Pride is not new for many African Americans, but the resurgence of black awareness and pride, black men and women face new problems, not only in relation to white society, but to each other in a black society. Recently, there has been a stream of articles on this subject, and the Chicago Daily Defender, America's largest black newspaper, began a series some weeks ago on the emergence of the new black woman. Betty Washington, reporter for the paper, surveyed the Chicago scene to report on how black men and women believe the revolution in racial pride will affect them and their families before the sociologists and experts tell us how we are supposed to react. So essentially he's saying the new black woman. So but black woman, you know, black women becoming educated, but black women uh, are, are starting to do more than, than, than just be just be stuck in a house and having kids. Black women are not dealing with that shit no more. They're, 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 they're in the work field. They're, they're doing what they got to do. And, and they have a sense of independence, sense of freedom that this country was built on, right? And these Kangs seem to have a problem with it. And, it, it, and they... And for the life of me, Kangs have always had a problem with black women not needing them. They've always wanted to put black women underneath their heel. They, they wanted black women to, to, be, to be on their own personal Kang slave plantation. And they feel so threatened by the fact that the black women don't need y'all. Like, why can't y'all be happy with, with the fact that black women want you, but don't need you? Why do you gotta be needed? Well, why do you have to be, why do you want black women to be codependent? You know, it just, it baffles my mind. As a reporter for the Chicago Daily Defender, and as a black woman married to a black man, I become deeply aware of the effects of this new black revolution on the relationship between black man and black woman. I see it among my own friends, and I also see it in my home. But the most revealing and the most vocal statements about what the new black man expects from the new black woman came when I met with a group of young unmarried friends one Saturday afternoon. I think that what's happening in America as far as black men, black women is concerned is that there's a revolution within a revolution. We are fighting our own woman. Our woman will not allow us to emerge as black men. No, but you know, that, that statement has always baffled me, <laughs> you know? He's pretty much saying that his that the black women are not allowing black men to be men. It's like what? Either you're a fucking man or you're not. No one can allow you to be a man. Either you're a man or you're not. Either you're a leader, a protector, and provider, or you're not. To me, that's the dumbest fucking excuse. Oh, she won't let me be a provider. If you're a provider, no one can stop you from fucking providing. The fact is, you're a fucking bum. 
and not a provider. So you want to use, you know, so you want to pass the blame for your failure on the woman. So I mean, I always, when they start off with that statement, because I hear this in the manosphere a lot, the Kings, like, oh, black woman, she, she won't let me lead. You're not a fucking leader, 100%. If you were a leader, no one can stop you from leading. You know, my wife, again, she's a nurse practitioner, has her own clinic. My wife, you know what I mean? She, um, she's very independent, very smart, very educated. But I'm still the leader of my household because that's who I am. I'm a fucking man. I'm a protector. I'm a provider. I'm a maintainer. That's ingrained in me. That's built in me. And for those that have been watching my channel, y'all know that I'm always doing something. I'm, I'm doing the, I'm doing, I'm, I'm making my barbecue sauces. I'm writing my books. I'm doing my music. I'm doing a dating site. I'm doing this and that. I'm always doing something, always grinding, always trying to find other ways to elevate my family's life, you know, because that's the type of man I am, right? And it's just sad that these kings don't seem to get it. No one can stop you from being a man. You, your birthright was being a fucking man. And it's just, it's fucking cowardly. It, I, I'm sorry I'm getting triggered, I'm going off, but that shit always triggers me because it's cowardly. Our black women who has been put in this role of aiding white America, white structure, and castrating the black male has continued doing this. She cannot live with us. It's not that we can't live with her. Are you blaming us? Are you saying that it's our fault that this happened? No, I'm not blaming black America women. I just said. You just said that black American women are aiding the white power structure and castrating you. So you are blaming black American women for your fucking failure as men. That, that, that's all it is. You know, if you if why not be happy, be thankful that, 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 that the women of, of your community are picking up the slack, the, 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 the tons of slack that y'all are leaving behind and applaud them. And then why don't you use their success as inspiration for you to succeed, for you to work harder? You know, what I mean, it's like, but now nah, y'all want to sit back, fucking whine, complain and pout and call Black women, you want to call them pawns of a white supremacy because you're failing, because you're upset that they are beating you out on fucking everything, right? But it's like, man, let's listen to this before, before I dive in. That I'm blaming the system. They are victims of the system like the black male. Well, why do you say that we... Sorry, I know I, I, know I keep interrupting, but I got a lot to say. Black women are, are, are like double victims. They're a victim of not only the same racism that black men go through, but they're also a gender-based victim as well. They're a victim of, of, of misogynistic ideals, of, misog of a country built on misogyny and racism. So it's like, if black women are succeeding, being doubly discriminated against, being a double minority, then what's your fucking excuse, Kane? What's your excuse? Black women are are fucking amazing how how they how they are exceeding with the very little shit that was given to them. They, they not only are they taking care of the children and, and 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 the household, they're taking care of fucking black men. And you have the fucking nerve to try to try to make them feel bad about it, to say that they're castrating you because you're failing as a man to meet the standards as a fucking man. Are castrating you. You say that you want to be the leaders. Okay. Well, what about the black professional woman? Are you saying that there should be no black professional woman? Are you trying to deny black women the right to be creative, the right to function? We're not asking for you to take a back seat. We're said. saying that you have got to be astute enough and can view the situation well enough where you just automatically know what your role is and step back. And whenever you want to have that aggressive thing, this is the thing that the young black man today is not going to tolerate. My old man tolerated because he was his old man tolerated. It came up for years and years and years. But today, the young black man is not going to take it. He's going to be out there as a leader. White America has... Oh, my God. There's a lot to uh, unpack there. He wants successful black women and black women in general, but he in particular is talking to successful black women to take a step back and let these fucking less successful people lead them. That makes that doesn't make a lick of fucking sense to me. 
You know what I mean? You want successful people to take a step back and be led by a fucking bum? Like, come on now. And yes, your, 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 your grandfathers and your fathers and your grandfathers, they were happily married. You know, they, so some of them, they dealt with it. No, they were happily married. And like, and of course, the lady said these people are single. So these men don't know what comes into being a husband. They don't know what comes into being a fucking man clearly. You know, they think that that being a man is, is, is puffing the chest out. Oh, I'm, I'm the head of my household. You do as I say, woman. Me caveman. You do as I say. That's not being a fucking man. You know, being a being a fucking man is building a home, it, it, it's protecting, providing, and giving a safe space for your woman to grow, to to nurture, to be happy in, and to and to excel and succeed in. You should be happy that that, that, that your woman is doing great. Like you know, like there was a time in my life where my wife made a whole lot more money than me, right? I was still trying to, you know, get my farm and my business going. And my wife was already a nurse. She was making a whole lot more money than me. I still paid the bills, but she made way more money than me. You know, and a lot of brothers online were like, well, that doesn't bother you at all. Well, why are you bragging about the fact that your wife makes more money than you? Because I'm proud of her. Because I provided the foundation and the space for her to excel in my family environment. Because that's what being a man is about, you know, and these fucking clowns don't seem to get that, you know. And if, so if something happens to me, I know 100 percent that my wife can handle everything. I know my wife can handle the bills, the kids, and, fin and my family will be financially secure. I have life insurance, but even if I didn't have life insurance, my wife ha is an amazing woman with an amazing career that can take care of everything if something happened to me. Like, why wouldn't you want that for your family? Why do you want black women to be fucking beaten down so much where they're dependent on you who, on a group of men who have failed as fucking men all around? You couldn't even protect your women in fucking slavery. And then after slavery, you still fail to protect them. You can't build nothing. You can't provide nothing. What the fuck do you do? What, you're not giving them a reason to respect you or to follow you. It is... Again, I get triggered by this, and it blows my fucking mind, you know? Use black women to keep the black male in his place. And you're still aiding him by saying, well, we are qualified. We want to work. We can help. Okay, how are you going to reprogram men so that they don't let us take over what's supposed to be their responsibility? And men that I have had dealings with, they are perfectly willing to sit back and let us do anything we want to. I, I don't think you have and that's the point. The problem is the men, yet they don't want to address that. The problem is the men are fucking bums. The men lack no drive, lack no ambition. They don't want to do shit with their lives, but sit back, make a bunch of kids they can't afford to take care of, and let the women take care of them. And then have the nerve to complain that they're being emasculated and castrated by the black woman that's been taking care of them. It's like, get off your ass and do something. Work your ass off. Save your money. Qu -qu 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 Quit trying to floss. Qu -qu Quit trying to live above your means. You know, there's so many things you can do as a man to better yourself, to put yourself in a better position. But a lot of these kings have way too much pride, way too much ego, and, it's, and you're seeing the downfall of them because of that. To reprogram men, I think you have to reprogram women. No, you have to reprogram no, no. the man so that he will... Forcefully no. take what belongs to him because you know women. As long as okay. we can get, we gonna get, and it's 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 part of our being. We're going to do anything to you that you let us, okay. whether we want to or not. You don't want to live on the level of income that I can afford you in love. Me on the basis of that, you want to to always. Why should she have to live on your level of income alone? This is America, you know. It you need you know the, the average what wage. Like the salary in America is what thirty to forty thousand dollars, and a lot in the black community are living below that. So why would you want her to struggle with you, right? When you both can work. But the thing is, a lot of these kings don't want 
black black women to work because that that means that 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 they lose some of that power of uh, you know of of having her codependent on you know they lose some of that power these kings they want the woman to to uh to to, to take care of them they, 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 they want the woman to uh to do all this shit they want to go 50 50 in every fucking thing and then want the woman to come home cook clean cater to them and take care of the kids you know but if you're going 50 50 that means you gotta kick in too that means you gotta cook sometimes you gotta clean half the time you gotta cook half the time you gotta take care of the kids half the time you understand that she's tired too. She's working just as hard as you. But but the, again, the problem with these kings is they want power and control over black women. And they're losing their mind that they don't have it. Please be inspired to have all those things that's a part of the great middle class white American society. And, and because I can't deliver these things to you, you say that you are not a man. I don't measure a man by how much money he can bring home. I measure a man by how he treats me. Whether when I'm tired and I'm sick and I'm scared, he's there for the And a lot of kings and men in general don't seem to get that. You know, they're always talking, oh, 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 oh hypergamy, hypergamy this, or oh, oh, woman's this. They don't understand that a woman that has a whole, whole lot of money will take in a man and, and love a man and, and be with a man that generally loves her respects her is there for her makes her feel safe loyal but y'all you know and I, i've seen it time and time again you know but these kings like the again it's the pride in their ego these women the men are there but with the feeling of racial pride has come new conflicts and new problems Across America, they meet to discuss what black awareness means to their families and to them as black women of today. You know, there have been a lot of myths created about the black family. We all recognize that. And one of the most pernicious myths is the myth of the black matriarch, you know, and this whole concept. And I think this is one of the reasons that the black community reacted so negatively to the Moynihan Report, because we know that that's not true. It was not like the black that. woman has not been a matriarch in the mm -hmm. sense that it has been defined thus far. And thank God research, and I hope black research, is being done now uh, to, to reverse that kind of thing. In fact, the black woman has been a woman at the head of a household, not by choice, but by necessity. And more and often, for, that's right, and more like often than time. not, she is not a strong, matriarchal, aggressive, domineering figure. She is a woman in search of a man. But this story has not been told. The prejudiced society. And I, you know, I'm an outsider looking into this because one, I, I'm not a, I'm not a woman. You know what I mean? I have no clue. I can't, I, I can't fathom uh, what what black women have gone through. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm a biracial man, a half black man. But I, I, I understand what, what that sister is saying. You know, like these kings, they're always trying to paint the black woman in a bad light. Talking about oh, and the, the, you know, the black family. You know, it, it, it's a matriarchy. But if it's that way, it's because you all failed. Because you all failed to lead your households. And, and you expected your woman just to fail with you. But instead of the, the women allowing the whole ship to fucking sink, look, I'm going to use this, uh, this analogy, right? The black family structure, it, it, it was on a ship. And, and because and because of we can say racism, slavery, and the and the overall inadequacy of fucking kings, there were a lot of holes in the fucking ship. The ship was taken on water. The ship was starting to sink, and the black woman is sitting there looking looking at the king like, "Hey, are you gonna fix this ship? Are, are you take some of this water out? Gonna patch up some of these holes? Or do we or, 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 or do we all gotta sink? Do I have to sink and the kids have to sink because you're you're inadequate?" And instead of instead of allowing the the, the, the ship to sink, because that's what the kings want. They, 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 they want the black woman to sit back and 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 fail with them. But instead of the black woman allowing the ship to sink, the black woman got to work. That's what I'm saying. Black women are fucking amazing. They got to work. They, they got buckets. They 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 pailed all the water out. They patched up uh, the, the the holes in the ship. 
and they kept the ship afloat. You know, they you know, they kept the ship afloat. And because they did that and they succeeded at that, and they kept doing that, despite the failures and the inadequacies of, of, of the men of their community, it, it, it hurt them, the Kang's fragile egos. That, that, that these women learn to live and thrive without them, you know? So like the black woman, in my opinion, she did not want to be the, 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 the strong the, the matriarchal figure that, the, you know, that, you know, the, the, that's leading the household. She didn't want to have to do that. But she had no fucking choice because you as men failed her. They created what we have now. So that's what we were. Okay, we have a revolution going on. We're part of the revolution. We're in the right. evolution. I think the revolution it is yet to come. Yeah, it's to come. Well, this thing, say this that thing because we thing keep often the word revolution around lightly. Lightly. Everybody Actress comes. Val Ward performs the works of our black poets and dramatists. For her, black awareness is not revolutionary, but the very foundation of her marriage. Val's husband... Francis Ward talks of the struggles of the black family in the past and the obstacles that lie ahead. Uh, it's extremely important for black history and culture to be transmitted from generation to generation. And the best way, the most effective way that this has always been done is through the family acting as the primary unit of social organization. And I think one reason why it has not been done with black people is because of the destruction done to our family life. So this certainly has to be one function of the black marriage to begin the re to reemphasize and to pick up the thread of Afro-American history and culture that has been left off generations ago when um, Africans were bought, sold into slavery, when the family unit was purposely destroyed. Part of the, the, the obligation of, of being black is to make absolutely certain that whoever has any kind of control or jurisdiction over your kid, you know, is not bringing him into conflict with the kinds of things we teach, we, we, we try to instill in them here in the home. Most um, middle class homes, quote middle class homes, like I don't even get caught up in that bag. You go into, we'll have some copy of um, anybody, any white artist, I don't even have to name anybody, um, instead of the works of black artists, I think it starts especially that identity part, the books, the kinds of books, all of these things start. And again, to me, again, that's a failure on, <laughs> on the fucking Kings. Lead your household. And look, it, it, this is my house, right? You know, me and, and my wife share this house together, but, but I lead the household. I, I lead my, my, my children. I, I lead my family. My wife is more than capable of, 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 of leading the household and the family, but, but shouldn't have to because I'm here and, 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 and so that's what I do. But I don't, it's like, the, the, there come, I'm trying to say this the proper way, so forgive me if I'm, if I'm stammering a bit because you know, I get, I'm getting a lot of strikes on my channel, so I'm, I'm really watching what I'm saying a lot more, right? If you want strong depictions, in your house of, 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 of black leaders, of, of, of powerful black women in history, of powerful black men in history, then you, as a man, look, you, as the head of your household, you set the first example. You, and you uplift the, um, the, the, the woman in your life in front of your kids. So they look up to her as an example too, right? And then you provide uh, 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 other, powerful, other powerful leaders of color that look like them. I'm half black and half Arab. I have Arab ancestry and I have black ancestry. My wife is, is just black, right? So I teach my kids, you know, y'all seen pictures of my kids. My kids look just as biracial as me. You know, they're not, they look just as mixed as me, right? So in my household, we, we have powerful image of, 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 of Africa. We have powerful images of, of black women, powerful images of black men, also powerful image, images of of Arab women, of Arab men, of our Islamic religion, of, of, of Arabian culture, of Egyptian history, right? My kids are filled with all of that pride for all of who they are. And I feel, you know, yes, you know, the, the women pass on uh, culture, 
you know, and everything to the child. But I feel it's my job as a man to instill a certain pride and set the main example of, of what a man should be and, 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 and what historical figures I want my kids to look up to. You know, you have to put that in there. But again, these kings want to blame everybody else besides their failure to, to, to do that. You know, it just, again, it's mind, it's mind blowing to me. It's fucking baffling. In the home, rather than complaining about them being in the schools at this point. Unless we're absolutely certain of how that teacher is handling them, then we may have to assume that whole responsibility. We may have to pull them out of school ourselves, you know, and do the, all the educating ourselves. Say, for instance, when they say to my child to draw, uh, last year Rhonda uh, painted Abraham Lincoln Brown and she was put in the corner, you know. We had to go up to the school and deal with that. They must be respectable to their peers in school. And what we do, we handle that. We don't say, you jump up, you curse that teacher out, or you say it doesn't exist. But they see us at that school knocking on the door. You know, I and I, I agree with certain aspects. I, I think that a lot of um, kids of color, kids of African descent, African-American, uh, ADOS, FBA kids, however you want to say it, because, you know, b b biracials are also, half black biracials are also ADOS. You know, I, I am also an ADOS with, through my father, you know. So I think a lot of kids of African descent from that history should be homeschooled. I mean, but but it's hard to, it's hard because these kings expect too much uh, of black women. And then they blame black women for fucking all, all the failures, right? Because. In most houses, I think like 70% of, of African-American households are, are fatherless. I think it was either 67 or 70% the households are fatherless. There's absentee fathers there. And it's being headed by a single hardworking black woman that, that is working her ass off, take care of her kids, provide for the kids. And then on top of that, these kings want the black woman to add on homeschooling her kids to that, you know? It's just, it's fucking mind blowing. Like, I do think a lot of African American kids should be homeschooled, but then as a man, you got to provide the environment so they can be. You can't expect the woman to do fucking everything while you just complain about it, you know? You have to be in there. Either we're going to control, you know, their minds here, or at least yeah. give them the choice. A lot of this is new to us and a lot of these things we're grappling with and we don't want to give anybody the impression that we have the answer to everything. Not only that, no, let me cut you I off know. again. You know, people go around talking about hate. We really don't have time to hate because, you know, it goose up the bag. We're loving ourselves. Mm -hmm. This might bring around a lot of other different things. But to be black means to love. It's got nothing to do with having to hate anybody. It this does determine, though, Francis, and has nothing to do with hate again. It's love that we might have to do have to do certain things to protect that law. It may bring and us into conflict with somebody. It yeah. necessary to protect that law. Finally, I asked Francis about the standards of today's black man That's as compared with those of 20 years ago. Standards which white society had projected. I think these standards were that he had to become successful according to the white mode. He had to get a good job, he had to buy a good car, he had to move to the suburbs, he had to rear a good family, they went to church every Sunday, they did everything that the typical good American family was supposed to do. And I don't think the black man necessarily is addicted to that notion. I think he sees the falsity of it, I think he sees the total hypocrisy of it. I think he wants to rear a tightly knit family, but not for the purposes that white society says. Uh, he doesn't want to rear a, a family for any sham purposes, just to fulfill some false ethic. But he wants to rear a good family in order to have his children strong, reared in his own image perhaps, and to transmit, most importantly, to transmit the values which he is learning uh, to his children and to try to ensure as best he can that his children will transmit those same values to their children and, you know, have the, uh, the same transmission repeated from generation to generation. You know, he just said a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo talking slow. You know what I mean? So why why would you not want to emulate what what works, right? You know, like a lot of these kings have a lot of disdain for so called white society, but yet white society works. You know, um, white society doesn't have the, the, the dismal education stats that that that, that black males have. I've said time and time again, 
you know what? Uh, 80% in, in the nationwide, in, in some in some states it is, is, is more, some, some states is less, of black men in America can't read above an eighth grade level. You know, it's fucking ridiculous. Can't read above an eighth grade level. In California, it was 75%. In California alone. So that means, well, you know, 25, you know, men out of every hundred, black men in America out of every hundred, I mean, 25 black men out of every hundred in California can read above an eighth grade level. That's just fucking California. In Detroit, it's like 90%. So 10 out of every hundred can read above an eighth grade level. So... Those are dismal stats. Yeah, you, you want to try to shit on white society or we're trying to be like the white man. You should try to be more like the white man. Because, like, you know, y'all you, you can hate on me. So, oh, you know, you, 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 that's your Arab half talking. No. That's the logical half talking. You emulate what fucking works. What you've been doing is not working. So why continue that on? You're dragging your families down because your pride won't let you admit that White society got this part right. White society perfect? Hell no. White society is far from fucking perfect. White society has caused a lot of evils, a lot of hurts all over the world. We all fucking know that. But some parts, they got fucking right. Copy that. You know, it's like, but, oh man, let's continue. Listen to me. I am a woman. Black, that is. And there is but one thing which brings tears to my eyes. And that is to hear man, woman, or child stand up with strength and say, I'm proud. I'm black. And that's beautiful. Well, that that was that video. Sorry, I got distracted, you know, with the email towards the end. But tell me your thoughts, man. I had a lot to say on that, and um, I'm tired of shit, man. I got I'm barely drinking my coffee, so let me know your thoughts on it, man. Um, you know, I look forward to reading your comments, and I'm tired. I'm, I'm hanging up, man. <laughs> I'm tired. Love y'all. Be safe. It's a